I'll see you later, I'm just going to the park. Is that Synology? Yeah, look, I'm down the park with my Synology unit and it said I could access the files anywhere and I can't seem to access them on my phone. Yeah, yeah, I've got the unit right here with me in the park. Oh, right, um, yeah, thanks, I see where I've gone wrong, yeah, thank you. Hi guys, I'm Simon, this is Tech My Life Video. Now, you've read the title, you've seen the introduction, you've got a rough idea about what this video is about. It's about the Synology. Now, if you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. Um, if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing. But if you are a subscriber, you would know I got this unit a while ago. It's taken me a while to get to the video for any number of reasons. But the great thing about that is that I have actually been able to live with this unit for a while and really start to appreciate what it can do. But before we get into it, I just want to ask a question. Question of the day is, do you use a network attached storage or a network attached storage that's also connected to the world web that you can access from anywhere? Do you use cloud storage? Do you take hard drives with you? Or do you just kind of go without? Please comment down below. But let's rewind a little bit and look at the system that I used to be living with. So I used to use the desktop, this guy here, Mac Pro. Four hard drives in there, great machine, beast served me well. But along with that, I also had these, a couple of those, that, this, that too, and that, another one. And for me, the problem with the desktop is I live here and it's beautiful. So I want to sit here and do my work. Or maybe sit here and forgot my work. Or lie in the grass. I'm not really doing any work, am I? Or maybe walk amongst these trees. <laughs> I'm still not doing any work. that view oh, it's unbelievable those flowers are beautiful aren't they yeah they are they're beautiful just like that view who want to be stuck inside so yeah I didn't want to be stuck inside at a desk so I got a MacBook Pro it's powerful enough to replace a desktop it doesn't have a huge internal hard drive so I also got one of these, just to give me a little bit of extra storage when I'm out and about. So that's great, but it doesn't really replace what I had before in terms of backups, but enter the Synology. The MacBook Pro plus the Synology is really, in my mind, the ultimate setup. I mean, add an external drive or an external SSD, and you're set. But the power of the Synology, the real thing that blows me away and is the most impressive is the software behind it. So check this out. You can set up the features you want to use through this simple web interface. There's so many options here. Let's go through just a few. We've got Active Backup for G Suite as well as Office 365. We've got Audio Station for your Synology Music Library. Synology also provides a calendar solution. If you're into downloads, torrents or FTP download or even RSS feeds, download station has heaps of options. File station, that's for managing all your files. Yes, you can use Synology as an iTunes server, which is awesome. Synology also offers a content rich notes app as well as Office for spreadsheets and documents. Photos with Photo Station, access your photos anywhere without expensive cloud storage. Surveillance Station, record security cameras to your Synology unit. That's awesome. Text Editor is always handy to have. And Video Station, stream all your movies to devices around your home with Video Station. Or maybe Plex is more your thing that got you covered as well. If you're like me and you design websites, the leading packages are all there where you can host locally or test locally. And that's just a taste of what the Synology has to offer. So to explain why this is the ultimate setup, I really need to explain my setup. So it's 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro. Now attached to that, I have a rugged external hard drive for a little bit of extra storage space when I'm on the go and just to free up internal SSD storage space. In fact, that drive is four terabytes, so it's pretty massive. 
So of course, connected to my MacBook Pro is my Synology at home. I'm connected over my home network. And then when I'm not home, I'm connecting usually via 4G through tethering, or obviously I could be connected via an external network. And along with that, I'm using some cloud storage in the form of Dropbox and Google Drive. So I can sync files. Now, with Synology, you can sync from Synology to Dropbox or Google Drive or other online storage, or from Google Drive and Dropbox, for example, down to your Synology. So if you're out and about and you upload some files to Dropbox, you can actually have them sync back to your Synology. You can also have folders that sync in both directions, both up and down. So let's take a quick look at that in action. So we've got some basic syncing here. I've set up some folders from Google Drive. So I've put a folder on Google Drive and there you go, it syncs back to Synology. And now there's a folder to Google Drive. We put a file on that side, on the Synology side, and boom, it's in Google Drive. And of course, we can have a folder that will sync in both directions. So you have options to set this up however you want. Put a file that's going to go to and put a file that's going to go from. And lo and behold, they both sync up. Just so easy, so simple. There you go. The other really important thing is how do I back up my MacBook Pro? So I can use Time Capsule and actually back up to my Synology. So there's a folder on there and I can actually back up to that folder. Now, because I'm slightly paranoid. I've also got another time capsule backup on my external drive, just as extra protection. So my workflow is generally a folder on my MacBook, a backup on my Synology, and for important files, a backup in the cloud via Google Drive. Oh, did I mention that you can access the files that are stored on here from anywhere, anywhere in the world. You can access the files that are sitting at home on this device. So you don't need expensive cloud storage, you just need one of these and you're set to go. You access the files via a web interface on your MacBook Pro or via an app on your mobile device like an iPad or an iPhone. And with iOS 11 on Apple devices, you can actually access the files on here via Apple's new Files app. So all your files are literally in one place. And that is absolutely awesome. So guys, if you've got a question about the Synology that you need answered, maybe a feature that it's got or a process you want explained, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to put together a video for you explaining that process. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel to catch that video. Now question of the day quickly, just recapping, which was do you use network attached storage? Do you use a cloud provider? Do you carry around hard drives or you just go without when you kind of need to access files? I'd love to hear in the comments down below. If you got this far, give the video a thumbs up. That's all from me today. I'm Simon. This is Tech My Life Video. This is Synology, part of the ultimate computer setup. We'll see you next time. Bye. Now YouTube, don't say I don't do anything for you. I just cleaned my car for the first bit and then came to the park and got it all dirty. Well done me.